morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, yesterday, my uh, oldest child, Olivia, said something profound to me. She didn't realize how profound it was, but I did. Um, we, you know, I, because of my personal experience with weight as a child, I don't allow my kids to use the word fat. Um, because it was such a weapon in my house growing up. You're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat. Um, and it became such a detriment. So we don't use that word. Um, there's nobody in my house that's fat. So in my opinion, there's no reason for that word to be flying around my house. And yesterday, um, Olivia was telling me a story about something that happened um, with some of her friends. And she said, well... So-and-so didn't t t say what really happened, but, you know, whatever, whatever. She's such a liar. And then she stopped. And I think she felt that the emotion, like how angry she was, was not natural for her because Olivia is a very even-tempered kid. And she said to me, is that a bad word? And I said, what? And she said, liar. And I said, no, that's not a bad word. And she said, it felt bad. I said, what do you mean? She said, it just felt like it was a bad word saying it, kind of like fat. And I was like, holy smokes. I have put more emphasis on a word that describes somebody's physical characteristic than I have about words that describe people's character, that can destroy people's character. Do you know what an eye-opening lesson? I hope right now you're having the same aha moment. I have convinced my child, myself first and then my children that it is more of a detriment to insult someone's physical character, physical being, than to insult their character. She didn't like the way it felt to say that about someone. And she shouldn't. Because a person's character is really all they have. I think, you know, we've talked about this before. You can tell so much more about a person by the words they speak than by the words that others speak about them. Because when the hate stops working, they start telling lies. We all know it's true. A person's character is their calling card. When you attack someone's character... Essentially, you're damaging their brand. We've spoken about when people do it to themselves. But what about when we do it to them? When we say, there, you know, there are people who think they know me from before Jersey Bell on social media. Um, they tell their version of the truth. It's not even slightly accurate. Um... They try to like assassinate my character. We all know people like that who try to do that. Character is all you're left with at the end. We've talked about it a thousand times. When you die, the body stays here because the body means nothing. It's a vessel. Yeah, it's a temple and you should take care of it. But at the end, you're not judged in any capacity by what your body looked like but you are judged by your character. It was such an aha moment for me that I have not done an efficient enough job teaching my children about character. You know, they're still young, but obviously Olivia is old enough to start to learn about what it means not just to be a giving person or a loving person, but a person with character who stands up for what they believe in, who 
does what's right even when it's not popular. Because if I teach her character now, she will be the girl that protects your daughter in the hallways from people like me. See that? If I teach her that assassinating somebody's character is, a, is much more damaging than their physical being, perhaps she will be a woman with character. Really something to think about. I especially, because I put so much emphasis on physical being because it was my experience. It was my struggle. So for me, my pain lies in, you know, that experience, the physical, the fat, all of that. Um, but I, it really, it, it's amazing how you can see it through the eyes of your children and really learn something from it. Today's coffee talk is like, more, I think maybe more for me than it is for you. I had an epiphany. It is my responsibility to teach my children not only what character is, but the damage you can do when you try to assassinate somebody's character. Because there are a lot of things in this world that you can release and, and not get back. And the spoken word is one of them. Once you say something about somebody knowing that it is not the truth, you have damaged your character, but you've also damaged theirs. Something to think about. I love you today. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.